y'all it's your girl lauren hendrix here and it's time again for what's eating lauren's great yes i've been on vacation for a week went to miami with the girls as a girls trip i seen you maybe a couple clip it, you know at the end or maybe you know of what happened during the trip but you know what happens i can't tell you everything because what happens on the trip stays on a trip <laughs> so while I was in Miami, I was really shocked to find this video of the whole cucumber challenge taken to the whole nother level. And it actually kind of messed up a little bit with the influence of Atlanta and its strong black culture. It got people thinking everybody in Atlanta or every female in Atlanta are these like barbaric, like slutty people. And it's so not true. If anybody know, I do live in Atlanta. And the reason why I moved to Atlanta is because of the black essence and also the black like entrepreneurship and the big chances for African-Americans in the community to better themselves. So that was the main reason why I came. And I really am a little upset the fact that Alexis Sky created this illusion for us in Atlanta that this is what we are made of and this is what we do. Okay, everybody knows who she is. I mean, if you watch Love and Hip Hop and, you know, all those different things or whatever, she lives for publicity. I mean, that's how she gets her check. That's what happens. And I do, I feel sorry for her for thinking that that was the next level to take to create this, I guess, appearance of fun for her. And, oh my God, it was disgusting. I'm not going to lie. I was really shocked to see that, I mean, I thought people were over-exaggerating because I was like, you know, how things just pop up on your Instagram and you just look at the comment, you know what I mean? You just be looking. You never really think that it will re was really that serious. And it was pretty serious. I mean, I know worse things happen, you know, not on film, but this situation just got taken to a whole nother level, like crazy, a whole nother level. But I just really want everybody to know, Atlanta is not like that. Everybody in Atlanta is not like that. We have so many movies and so much entrepreneurship, black entrepreneurship at that, and people progressing and learning and building and being better. I mean, when I came to Atlanta, I'm telling you, it was opportunity after, after opportunity to do better and get better in my career and be a better person. I mean, let's focus on the positive things of Atlanta. Let's, let's forget about that completely. I don't even want to talk about it no more. It's done. But, you know, it is what it is. People going to forget about it, hopefully, in the next 45 minutes, because I'm trying to. Oops. Out of the way. So, on to the next thing. Didi got a new girlfriend. Well, Didi and his new girlfriend is actually, her name is Lori Harvey. It's Steve Harvey's daughter and they actually were seen in Italy together having a trip together so I mean a lot of people been tripping out because of the age differences that she's 22 okay I get it I'm not gonna lie you know it's a big age difference yes it is and I feel like that was one of the reasons why Cassie was out the door because I guess she got too old for him and the only problem that I have with that situation is ageism towards women it's like once we get a certain age it's like we're worthless in a context when it comes to certain people and that ideology of a woman and her youth. And then it's like when men, it's like the older they get, the better they are. I honestly hate that situation when it comes to female and male situations. It really sucks. But as for my comment towards him dating her and she's that much younger, I mean, her mama, her daddy was sitting right there. I mean, they don't have a problem with it, so why should we? I mean, it's, she's legal. She's old enough to definitely drink and to go out. I mean, like, what can we say about that? It's not like he's sitting there dating a freaking 17-year-old. She's old enough to make her own decisions. And, you know, like I said, her family was right there with her. I mean, if they don't have a problem with it, oh, well. And I do feel like, I mean, it's Diddy. Everybody, I mean, it's like people feel like, oh, I mean, when he dated Cassie, Think about it. He was 17 years older than her when he got her. So, I mean, that's nothing new. Like I said, the only thing I see a problem with is the ageism. That, you know, out with the old, in with the new. You know what I mean? When when Cassie got to a certain age, he was done with her and just tossed her out 
seemed like to me, you know, and moved on. Or maybe, you never know, maybe she just got tired of being his girlfriend and wanted to get married. You know, as you get older, sometimes girls, we just want to not have fun anymore and just settle down and be married and build something with a husband. But hey, that's all I have for you today. And make sure you check out this company called Gold Label. Yes, they sent me a package in the mail. I got it. Oh my God. And I love these. Um, I got, look at it. It's so nice. Let's see if you can see it. Oh, there we go. There we go. I love it. Like they, they sent me Evil Twin. They sent me also, oh, I got two Evil Twins. Okay, cool beans. And then I have a tan line, which is what I have on now. Tan line is what I have on right now. I, I'm really feeling these browns. I'm telling you, it's really dope. And I have another one. I think, oh, oh I got two tan lines. Okay, all right, this is dope. Right, so I got two Evil Twins and two tan lines and I love them. Like, I'm really feeling them. I really haven't opened up tan lines yet and I was really feeling the whole packaging. Oh, let me see. Oh, 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 oh they bougie. They real bougie, okay. Ooh, now that is pretty. Look at that, y'all. It's like a orangey red and I feel like orangey reds and browns look beautiful on melanin. I'm telling you, it makes us look <laughs> glamorous. But until next time, y'all, that's all I have for you. So peace and make sure you subscribe, please, please, please. And I'm definitely gonna put um like the websites for both of them in the Instagram. And also, yes, I, for I almost forgot. Sorry, cannot forget. If you love my wig, baby, cause blondes have do have more fun. Um, this is definitely from Vandy Lane Hair. Love them on these awesome pajamas. You know, I was feeling a little cozy. Came from also Vandy Lane. So make sure you check them out. I'm definitely gonna actually, you know, put their IG and information down there too. So, as I was about to say, until next time, peace. <laughs>